Good morning, everybody. Today we shall discuss about uh, the sinusoidal oscillators. And before uh, discussing the sinusoidal oscillators, I like to give you uh, extend the feedback amplifiers. Top the discussion on feedback amplifiers to operation to an operational amplifier example. After that, I'll come back. I'll uh, discuss about the oscillators. Please look at this picture. So this is an example for voltage series feedback using an op amp circuit. So here, the, this is an operational amplifier. It is an amplifier with very high voltage gain and very high input impedance. Ideally, the input impedance is infinity and very low output impedance. The output, that means the output impedance ideally should be zero and voltage gain is infinity. Then please note that a fraction of the output voltage and the fraction is R2 by R1 plus R2. So therefore beta is equal to minus R2 by R1 plus R2 because so this fraction is applied to the negative terminal and the operational amplifier here has is a base is basically a difference amplifier. The output voltage is an amplified version of this voltage applied to the positive terminal minus the same gain times this voltage or it is gain times this voltage minus this voltage or it acts as an amplifier for this difference voltage. So that's what an operational amplifier is. And now the feedback voltage is given to the negative terminal and between this terminal to the output it is a negative gain whereas between this terminal to the output it, is a, it has a positive gain, equal positive gain. Hence beta is R2 by R1 plus R2 and A is infinity and it is voltage series because it is voltage feedback because output voltage is tamp and it is applied in series to the input signal is Vs and this is getting subtracted from this feedback voltage plus minus Vf is getting subtracted from Vs and that is being amplified. Hence it is voltage series feedback amp amplifier. And uh, the gain of this amplifier as you know is A by 1 plus A beta and when A is infinity, practically A is very high, it is of the order of tens of thousands in practical amp op operational amplifiers and when A beta is much greater than 1, so we know that this is approximately equal to 1 by beta and that is equal to in this particular example minus R1 plus R2 by R2. So this is the gain of uh, the operational <coughs> amplifier here. So this is uh, an example for feedback, voltage series feedback and it is an op amp circuit. And I'll give you another example. This is for voltage series and I'll give you a circuit example for current series feedback. So this is the example, I'm giving an example of a transistor circuit. So the output is taken here. It is a and common emitter configuration and this is for the sake of biasing. So this is the coupling capacitor to couple the input signal to the amplifier and this is the output and this is the collector resistance as I mentioned is the biasing resistance and this is RE, a feedback resistance. And this is the output voltage. It is, is it voltage feedback or current feedback? If I tap the output here and directly feed and give a, apply, uh, and apply a current or voltage at the input by tapping the output voltage, it would have, it would have been a voltage feedback. But please note that the feedback is uh, proportional to the output 